Hey everyone, this is Abhinand from CG Artist Academy and I'm back with a new tutorial. This time, tutorial is in Maya and uh, we are going to learn how to create depth of field with Arnold. Okay, so it's very basic and very uh, quick tutorial. There are a few aspects which we have to learn about how to create depth of field in Maya. Okay, so this is the image uh, I'm going to create again. Everything is set up. All we need to do is create a depth of field. Okay, so let's get into a Maya. So here is the scene and uh, like you can see in a sorry in a perspective view uh, this is completely procedural uh, uh, spider web which i have created in houdini uh, with the vellum constraints and after that i have exported it as a alembic and imported in maya okay so my scene is set up so let's go into the camera and let's see how by default it's coming through so just Select your Arnold renderer and open render view and let's see how it's coming. So the render is done and you can see that by default when I'm not applying any depth of field to it, it's looking very flat. So you can see that every, everything is in focus. So let's create some depth of field. Okay, so to do that, there are two very important aspects are if you select your camera and go to your Arnold tab this one okay first of all you need to enable this depth of field enable this option and here are two important aspects are focus distance and aperture size okay so focus distance is the distance between your camera and the object so let's create that first uh, to do that you need to go to the create option and here we can find uh, measure tool which is in here uh, we can select on this distance tool so let's create our points first locator here second locator here let's rename it quickly uh, it should be a cam locator cam lock and it should be the object locator so select your cam locator then select your camera and go to your modify match transform and take this window out and first of all we need to match the translation okay and other thing is the rotation value as well so that is been created okay so my first locator is set which is calculating uh, which is at the uh, point of camera the place of camera and the second locator should be there where my object is where I need a focus okay so let's select our object and quickly do that correct so this should be my focus point where I need a focus so let's get back to a camera and select this yeah that's correct so after doing this exercise we got the distance between the object and the camera which is this 2.42 around okay so let's go to your camera settings and here focus distance we will place the value which is 2.5 okay and aperture size is like uh, less aperture size you will get the less uh, uh, blur amount and the moment you starting the, starting uh, increasing this value you will get the uh, more blur around the uh, object which is focusing okay so by default it's zero let's create it around 0.5 and let's see how the render comes so you can see uh, the focus uh, where my focus is apart from that place top side and the bottom side i am getting too much blur okay because of this aperture size so we need to crank it down let's save this as a screenshot and at the value of 0.1 okay and let's again see how the render comes so you can see the difference in image now my focus is in here okay and the nearest point and the farthest point are in completely blur okay so that's how you can enable the depth of field and use in your artworks because uh, when when we do uh, micro photography we actually use this principle okay so still this is too much blur for me so let's uh, decrease it by half like 0 0.050 
and see again how the render comes. So the render is completed and yeah, this is the blur amount I was looking for. So it's completely uh, done and uh, I'm happy with the result and that's how I achieve this kind of depth, depth of field effect. Okay, so it's a shallow depth of kind of field. Okay, and it's also depends on your uh, focal length also. So you can also use these values as per uh, when you are like doing the research and all. So this was the quick tip how to create the depth of field within a 3D application. Uh, this time we are using in Maya Arnold. Okay, instead of doing it in post, we can do it here also, which is not feasible. But yeah, you can do it. Anyways, uh, so I hope you like this tutorial, guys. And I'm also uploading the project file of this uh, project in Gumroad. I'll be leaving the link below. You can support me by, by buying those files if you want to. Okay. And like and subscribe my channel. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you.